I was about eight, eight or nine, and they put me on a train in Sydney, and off I went on a 24-hour train trip to Bewarrina, all on my own with my little packed lunch. And there was nothing strange about it then, it was just a big excitement and that, you know, but looking back now, I think to myself, well, looking at my grandchildren at their ages and thinking, my God, how did that ever happen? Tell me when. Pam Foley, interview, take two. <laughs> well, I, I couldn't tell you anything about my father in my early childhood because I left, we left when I was two and a half. But my mother took me to Sydney and she had to work very hard to keep me and to look after me. She took jobs on cattle stations, in remote hotels. I, I was shunted around and lived with various relatives, with aunties and grandparents. And I suppose they were most of the things I remember. I was an only child, yes and my father never had any more children and my mother never had any more children. So in actual fact, I was an only child of five marriages, which was a little bit unique in that time. I was living with my grandma up in, in Varel at the time and my auntie else and her children, they lived there as well. We weren't in the same house, but the, the circus, I can remember this so plainly, the circus came to town. I'd never been to a circus. And Auntie Else took her children. My money hadn't arrived from my mother and my grandmother didn't have the money for me to go to the circus. And consequently, that has, <laughs> that has really always stuck with me that I never ever got to go to a circus as a child. Shocking, shocking. I felt that kids should be seen and not heard. Nothing was discussed with them. I was so, I was tough. Well, I see my daughter discussing things with the kids. I would never have done that. What I, it was my way or the highway. That's it, that was it. I look back now and I think to myself, my God, how did any of them survive? Well, not that I was a nasty old lady. <laughs> and I'm, I'm sure I can't say a sweet and gentle old lady either. But I hope they would, I hope my grandchildren and that would think of me as a person who was interested in them and interested in the world and what was going on. The things that are most important to me now are family. And my children and their children, they are the most important things in my life. Pam Foley, <laughs> end of the interview. <laughs> <laughs> that means <laughs>